I'm Sarah Arsniega, and today I will be making a two-page scrapbook layout. Um, I'm getting my inspiration from the Make It From Your Heart book that Close To My Heart has put out, and I am working with pattern number four. I'm also doing this as part of a collaboration with Erin's Crafty Bunch. It's a group of crafty friends, and so today I'm going to be using the Evergreen Collection to put this together. I'm going to begin by cutting my strips. So this was actually really easy. This paper actually is full of strips. You could leave it just so or cut it into strips to use it. And so it just naturally made one of the strips I wanted to use. This is a zip strip from one of the papers, as is this. Then we have our wider strips. And I'm going to basically just experiment with these. I'm going to put them next to each other and see what combination I like the best. So the pine bow border, it is actually a little wider than what they told you to cut in the pattern book, but it didn't bother me that that's not exact. And so just as a side note, that is a little wider than what they call for. Um, this paper did not get cut well, but um, maybe I need to replace my blade and my cutter. But I decide I don't really like um, the acorn paper with the, the gray that I've chosen as my background. And so I put the zip strip with the diagonal back on. And I like this combination the best. This is what I decide to go with. As I mentioned before, I am going to do a two page layout. And so instead of doing the border on the left and the right side of each page, I am essentially just stretching this layout. So I will have the borders on the far left and then the far right. And so that's the way I'm turning this into a double spread. So I have all of my strips adhered down and now it's time to bring in the pictures. And uh, what I, before I do that though, I just wanted to point out that you could really actually flip the sketch very easily. Um, I'm just showing you here how to do that by just rotating it. Uh, you could do two borders down on the bottom or do one on the top and one on the bottom. There's a lot of options here. A pattern paper strips really just make your pages come to together rather quickly and they're, they end up really cute. So now I'm ready to bring my pictures in. And to do that, first I wanna look at the pattern book. In the pattern book, um, they have three by four pictures as well as three by three pictures. And I actually already have some pictures printed. The pictures I want to use today are from 2008 and they have just been sitting in sheet protectors. Um, 2008 is kind of a lost year in my scrapbooks. Um, it was a really busy year. I moved, got a new job, started dating the guy that became my husband. And so scrapbooking took a back burner that year and I never went back to catch up on it. And so I thought today was the perfect day to kind of tackle some of those. And so this is a hike that I went on with my mom and my sister and her husband and my four nieces. It's called Klingman's Dome, and it's part of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. You basically park pretty high up on the mountain, and then you take a short trail up to an observation tower. And the scenery is gorgeous, and it's just beautiful and wonderful to be out in nature. Um, and so what I'm doing now is I'm playing around with maybe doing the staggered on both sides, but ultimately I decide I do want the middle open over there just kind of like they did on the pattern book um, and then I staggered the other side just like they did on the pattern book and so I kind of took the ideas from the pattern book and um, made them work for my photos and used elements on both sides of my pages. Um, so next I want to map my photos and this collection actually features French vanilla and I actually don't have French vanilla paper. Um, I actually just ordered some a few days ago because I realized I needed it. And so I am um, the saturation of the pine I felt was just too deep and too much. And so I thought, I wonder what it will, would like look like if I took ink and went around the edges more than just, you know, distressing. And so I blot off in the middle because it doesn't matter what it's going to look like and just go around the edges. I do like the way this turns out. It kind of reminds me of like when you look at trees and the light hits it and there's all the different varieties of the greens. That's kind of what it reminds me of. And so I put my picture on it and then I place it on my page and I am still trying to decide if that's the look I want to go after. I decide to bring in some additional papers just to make sure that's what I really want. Um, so here I have lots of options. I have the green I just did. I decide I don't want to do the stark white for sure. 
I do have a white with just the pine distressing. And then I bring in toffee at acorns, actually the color that is part of this collection, but I didn't have any. And so I tried toffee. I didn't really like it. I found some um, pattern paper in a mix-in and I didn't really like that either. And so then I pull all the greens in just to make sure, right? You have to make sure. And so this right here is sage. And then this is rosemary. And I don't really love the sage um, in, in, a, in a large quantities on this page. And the rosemary actually is not a featured color. However, it does match one of the stripes in the diagonal. And so I feel like I want to pull that in and use that. And so that's what I end up doing. I go ahead and mount all my pictures in the rosemary. So now I have the big open spot for my title. So Close to My Heart has a great clearance section. Um, they put new stuff in there periodically quite often. And um, I always love checking it out right away because some of it does go quickly. But I picked this up during the last time they put new stuff in the clearance section and it was super cheap. And so since I'm a new maker, um, I wasn't around when all this stuff came out. And so I get my hands on it as quickly as I can. Um, it has a little alpha that is really cute um, to do your text. And then it has a stamp that does the string with little ribbons. And then it also has a set of thin cuts that cut out the pendant. Um, and they have them in triangles and the three other shapes as well. And so I'm stamping with the espresso ink and I'm going to just do the word hike. And I went ahead and stamped the little string on just a scratch piece of paper. I wanted to test it out before I actually stamped it on my layout. And I was glad I did because I learned a few things. So this little string that's pre-done, it's really only big enough for like three triangles and course hike has four letters so the way I'm going to make this work is basically I will just mask off the um, part of the ribbon that I don't want to use and I'll just use the little bows at the end and that way my string can be as long as I want um, so while I have my stamps out I decide this little sticker that has an open middle um, would be a great place to put the year and so I stamp the 08 um, later on, I actually go back in and add a little apostrophe of sorts um, so it looks more like a date instead of just random numbers. I, after I got looking at it, I was like, I'm not sure people are going to recognize that as a date. And so I added a little apostrophe in hopes that that would help. But I do like the look of the little 08 in the middle of the pine boughs and um, pine cones. So now I'm ready to place this here on my layout. And banners, you usually want to anchor them to something. Um, they look a little funny when you just let them f like float freely. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and use the top row of my pictures. And so I decide to add two triangles of pattern paper. Um, I did this for two reasons. One, it kind of brings in some of the lighter greens, um, as well as I just wanted it a little longer so it was more substantial because that's a rather big space. So next I bring in the Q08 circle and decide that it does need something else. And so um, each collection that is in the catalog, they have a digital art collection to go along with it. And so I use that to cut out some pine needles and I really like the way that they look um, coming off of that sticker. I added a little heart there and now I'm ready to move on to the right side of my page. So I really like the tag um, down there on the bottom right, but I need some other things to go there. And so this cute sticker, I thought I could put almost like a tab at the bottom of the picture. Um, I did struggle with this for a little while. It kept slipping every time I went to you know, push it down, but I eventually get it in the right place. And then I just layer the um, journaling tag over that. I will probably actually end up getting some twine and redoing the tag ribbon. Right now I just have paper in place which works but I really think some twine would be really cute. I just don't have any in my stash right now. And so then I move up to the other space that's open for some embellishments. Um, this is the same pattern paper that I used in the triangles. And so I pull it over here and then I'm going to go ahead and use this cute sticker and 
I cut off the bottom of it because there was no need to, you know, stick that in there. Um, but it's just really cute. It has, you know, the pine needles and the pine boughs on it. And so I do the same thing. I just use paper on this tag. And like I said, I might down the road um, replace it with some twine. But for now it works. I do end up adding a uh, pine tag as well and actually a pine bough as well as I continue you know, fussing with this. Um, the reason I did that is just because I do like to try to create some balance and there wasn't really much of the pine green up there and so I wanted to add some of that up there. And then same thing down on the bottom right. Um, there wasn't any pine. It was all the lighter greens down there. And so I added a few things down there to help balance that out. And so that's my page. So like I said, this is the Evergreen Collection. I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough of the different papers and the stickers that are offered. And so this is the sticker sheet. And they have, um, as you saw in my layout, they have great journaling tags and spots. And um, this will make really cute winter pages as well. I you know, stayed away from the snowflakes on my page, but there's some really cute snowflakes and wintry vibes that could be work used for like snow pictures as well as Christmas pictures. So I'm going to move on to the paper. Um, this right here, just so you know, the Close to My Heart paper is two-sided. And so on one side we have an acorn colored paper that has a variety of dots on it. And then on the other side is the pine colored, um, has like little leaves on it. It's I used it on my layout on the outside there. That's where I pulled the zip strip from. And then um, I really like this paper. This is music paper and on the other side there's this really neutral gray. And we do a lot of music in our home and so I'm looking forward to finding some uses for this. So this paper was also featured in my layout. And then on the back side of that one we have the green with the pine needles and the pine cones that was also on my layout. Um, I just want to remind you that there are links for my crafty friends that have um, been in this collaboration with me, as well as some shopping links down below. Thanks for joining me. Have a great one. Bye.